Hi, this is Harley bringing you another Star Trek Fleet Command video today, again about uh, more event ships. Looking at the second event ship in the lineup uh, of the uh, stuff here, the Botany Bay, uh, and then we're going to go on to look at the USS Franklin. Franklin itself here, as you see, was based upon the film series and was uh, part of an initial arc, which we then have given the swarm. And then, obviously, subsequently, uh, daily milestones in itself. Again, a ship which is used regularly. You get to use it every Sunday on the so-called Swarm Sundays or the heroic events to gain resources, material, and after a certain level, uh, Khan and Mara, Mara shards from the officers. So it's very useful to level them up. And as a whole, it is a good ship to use and to push to get, especially to cover your dailies. It does give you some resources, but we'll see in a bit the resources you get are not a great deal to help out in time. So in itself, my standard setup uh, here, obviously a maxed uh, Franklin with Pike Moreau and Tillan, the best situation to really have to go against uh, the Swarm Hostiles. Uh, being intercepted, Tillan is your best uh, use. Uh, there is a, another officer, Jailer, we'll see about her in a minute. But uh, yeah, the ship itself is quite straightforward power wise based upon the time it's obviously an old ship so it's not overly powerful compared to the existing ships we have in game and then we look in the system with swarm and this is swarm hostile which you roughly have to go and shoot down depending on your level you get a certain amount of daily milestones to complete with a certain amount quantity of targets to hit uh, the officer that was released with them was uh, obviously here Jailer. At the time, everyone got um, some shards for her, but never maxed her or got her to even unlock. And no one knows what her ability is, so we're still waiting on a new arc to finish this off and hopefully release Jailer to us all. As a whole, on a daily basis, especially for people who are single faction or wish to try and bring up a second faction up to a positive rep or... Uh, wish to switch factions using the swarm dailies uh, of up to 100 points getting obviously biominerals frequency modulators and uh, speed repair ups are a great help in essentially doing this because being 100 points for me even doing 260 that's a little under the halfway mark but still is a huge chunk of my daily milestone requirements so this in itself is a great help for doing the uh, dailies with. In itself though, the biominerals that we actually get given uh, as a reward from the milestones go towards resources in the refinery tab. As you can see here, my quantities are not particularly large. I get 1.6 million para, um, smattering of titanium and even less of dilithium. To itself at level ops 38, it's not a great help. It's a small help, a little bit helps, but um, these res resources and rewards could be awfully boosted. To go against the swarm, uh, actually we had the uh, within the galaxy tree, the use of uh, galaxy uh, research for the swarm, either strengthening the uh, Franklin or weakening the ability of the swarm hostile, helping to obviously get this done right here, I'm actually max because I've uh, got the point where I can do it, but there's ops related to how far you can increase this research. The Franklin itself, when it came out though, was uh, chucked at ops level, so it was very expensive to, uh, you know, even, it took a while to even use it, taking here the total 20 million frequency modulators to max out this ship. You then had to have uh, warp cores to extend the warp range, and these were given out at certain ops levels in the mission style. But that initial cost, the first seven tiers, cost, see here, four million, so a little under a quarter of the total 20 million. Tier seven, and then obviously going on to tier eight, we have here then five million. So it's just under half, or about half of the total 20 million required to get it to tier eight. And that meant obviously the last 10 million were only in the tier nine costs to get this ship to maximum, which obviously was a huge grind. Um, but once you got there, obviously this was a very useful ship for like, say, your dailies and uh, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Keep well, keep safe. Please subscribe. Here's obviously a list of uh, overall bullet points to check and uh, see you in the next one.